here I am in the thrift store. We try to come once a week. Just never know what you're going to find here. All kinds of frames and wood pictures. Candle holders. Yep, grab this one. All kinds of baskets, electronics. Love this book. Yep, I'll grab that. Here's my pile. Let's see what else we can find back here. You guys remember Teddy Ruxpin? <laughs> and some clothes and some bags. I'm always on the lookout for bags. Lots of lampshades. Nothing I could really use though. Oh <laughs> wow. Nineteen eighties, baby. Lamps. I may go back and grab a couple of these things. Saturday. Lots of dishes. I'm always on the lookout for some cool dishes. I always find some coffee pots here. Oh, 
so windy. Look at this. Some apple barrel. Embossing ink, embossing powder, more, wow, that's an old, look how old this Delta Ceram coat is, I'm going to get that just to see how well it turns out, and it's a plaid product, so, Well, you know, what I had is just lasted forever, so. Excuse me, honey. Sorry. Okay. Today's video is for my Funtime Friday collaboration. This is the open playlist that I host every month on the first Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And this is a place to just dump those fun videos that you've made that maybe don't fit in the rest of your, um, you know, in the rest of your content. Think of it as a as a video dump place, I guess. <laughs> so make sure you check my description box for the link to the rest of the playlist and see see what other fun videos were done for today's challenge. Um, could be anything. I'm, I've got this haul that I've got going on, a little bit of chit chat. Um, there might be some crafting, who knows? It's, it's all about having fun on Friday. Uh, we're going into the weekend. I'm raring to go, so let's check out what all I picked up on this haul. And so here are the results of that haul. I picked up one roll of this wallpaper, thinking it might be really cool for like backdrops, photos, stuff like that. And I could not pass up on this... <laughs> Totally retro uh, fruit hanger basket thing. I remember my mom having one of these when I was a little kid. Uh, it's a little worse for wear, but I'm going to clean it up and, uh, yeah. I remember I would sit and play with those things for hours, just, just doing that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe I'll... Uh, so maybe I'll just uh, turn into planters. I don't know yet. Next. This awesome ladies home journal book. It's actually um, as old as I am. I think it was 1976. Journal of the Century. Look at this. It is gorgeous. With the linen finish and the I don't know why my light keeps going off, but I guess I'm just going to leave it. It's got this gorgeous gold titling and this linen finish. Black and white images. It's like a year in history or a hundred years in history or just history. I don't know. There's some old. Look at that. Art, architecture celebrity i mean huh, music just all kinds of great stuff so i thought this was going to be gorgeous i mean yeah this palette sign which probably came from hobby lobby or something like that that i'm going to of course completely change so i will flip that at a later date uh some fall ribbon and some gourds and stuff. <laughs> I'm always on the lookout for vintage plaid crafts products. Take a look at this old apple barrel paint. Brown oxide. There's no price or no price. There's no sticker, no price sticker or anything, no year or anything like that. So no real idea on how old this is. But I tested it. It still works. <laughs> Bunch of terracotta pots that I have no idea what I'm going to do with, but I'll do something with. A uh, couple of these Dollar Tree candlesticks. This really awesome large bowl, which I'll probably 
put succulents in, and then this vintage, I think it's diffuser reeds. There's no sticker or anything like that on here. I don't know how old it is, but I love the look of it. It's nice and heavy. So wanted to make sure I grabbed that when I was there. So that's pretty much it for the haul. I don't know what I'll do. Something, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to stash these... Uh, these fall things away. Um, I don't know if I want to paint this or not. I really like the design here. If you can tell. I think I might just leave it like that. But might get rid of these reeds. Although I might could use them for something else. Who knows. And then like I said. I'll probably do succulents in this. Ah. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe seashells for summer. Maybe this will make it into my summer video. Um, you know, with like some sand and, and stuff like that for summer vibe. Uh, or for the beach video. And that'll be coming up in June. Um, but yeah. Uh, I also ended up... I'm trying to fix my craft room. Okay, I'm trying to clean it, organize it, and all that stuff. Well, our Dollar Tree is great, but they don't have everything. And a lot of the containers that I usually look for, they don't carry. But I have found that these food containers from the Dollar Tree are fantastic for craft storage, right? Because they're clear. You can see through them. They have lids, so you can stack them. And a buck and a quarter a piece. They're actually really sturdy. They're not cheapy, thin. I mean, they're, they're not the super thin, cheapy plastic. These are pretty substantial. Um, you know, and you, I mean, you could put these things in the microwave, in the dishwasher, and in the freezer. So you can store your ribbon or, you know, whatever in it. So I got a bunch of these, and I have a, quite a few more around that I'm trying to utilize to set myself up with a system that'll work but if you're getting into <laughs> like I am the home edit um, and you may not be able to get to the container store or to Walmart to get any of their specific products um, I think these would probably be a very feasible alternative um, again buck and a quarter so super cheap okay so that's awesome. And they're pretty large. I mean, they're 16 cups, so 3.8 liter. And they can hold quite a bit of stuff. Um, I don't have one full that's handy. Or like I said, I'm, I'm cleaning everything. But these are really good. Uh, they're really good for that. So keep that in mind when you're at Dollar Tree. If you're thinking of looking for storage solutions for your craft room your pantry, whatever, uh, these, these sure fresh bins from Dollar Tree are really good. So that's it. Um, I know it was a short one, super quick. Um, but Hey, it's Friday. It's Friday night. Nobody wants to hang out for hours. <laughs> I know I don't, I have lots to do. So I wanted to make it short and sweet. Um, don't forget to check out the rest of the playlist. Uh, that is linked below. And don't forget to also spread that YouTube goodness. Like, comment, and subscribe on everybody's channels. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, y'all. Bye.